My name is Jason Thomas and I'm also known on YouTube as the Insect Hunter and today I'm on a quest to find a scorpion fly. Scorpion flies are not super common insects but I've been tipped off by some friends of mine that I can find some here and I've been told that the reason why this area is a great area to look for scorpion flies is because the ground is moist they really like moist ground and there's also a lot of vegetation here which is non-woody so there's not a lot of bushes it's more of just grasses and um, some different types of flowers that are not woody plants and there's also some cover um, above us where there's a canopy so this is the type of area where you might be able to find scorpion flies so I'm gonna go ahead and start sweeping in this area and see if I can find one of these insects While I did find some cool insects while sweeping, after an hour it got too dark to carry on. Another day I took some friends with me to help see if we could spot this insect. When one of my friends spotted a strange looking insect I had hope. We quickly threw a net over it and set up my camera to see if we had found what we had been looking for. So in our situation, uh, we just stumbled on this one. I've been told that the best way to capture scorpion flies is to first flush them out and then see where they land. And then once you see where they land, you can go catch them. I actually talked with a friend and he told me that scorpion flies are hard to find and easy to catch. So one of the key things you want to know with scorpion flies is that they live in certain micro habitats like the one I was showing you and they're kind of like these hot spots so they'll be commonly found just in these very small areas and once you've found those areas you can usually find them there if you go at the right season so the best thing that you can do to be able to find scorpion flies is I would suggest that you ask other entomologists around you if you don't know any you can go to your extension center or go to the nearest university and there's almost always an entomologist, at least one at the universities. And sometimes they have museums where you can check out different specimens and they will tell you where you could possibly find some scorpion flies in your local area. And the time of year does make a difference with some species like the one that um, I have here. So even though I didn't catch this scorpion fly by flushing it out and then going and catching it, I can say that they're not very good flyers. So if they do fly away from you, you can catch them easily. This one has gotten away from us a couple times, but we've been able to just pick up the net and catch it really quick. And so I've had my friend here holding the net ready to go in case it flies away on us. Just a little bit about these insects, what they feed on, they feed on dead insects and the larvae do and the adults do as well and their diet is not fully understood one of the things about insects is that there's so many of them and there's so much that we still don't know about them that's why it's such an exciting field that I'm in right now is that there's so many new things that we are trying to discover about insects most of the information we do have about insects is about important ones that cause damage to homes or cause harm to humans and these ones are actually harmless as you can see right now it's kind of nibbling on my finger but they're totally harmless insects and this one that I've got here is actually a female and in this species if it was a male it would have a scorpion looking tail which is actually used for mating and it's not actually a stinger or anything like that I was glad we were able to find the scorpion fly and I'm excited to try and hunt down some different insects next time with you on Insect Impossible and check out these other videos right here and make sure and subscribe to the Insect Hunter so you can stay tuned for all things insects. Thanks for watching.